The American sports equipment firm Under Armour is well known for producing athletic and casual clothing as well as footwear. Kevin Plank, the company's founder, is a prime example of an entrepreneur who rose to the top without inheriting millions, acquiring degrees from elite universities, or devoting years to education and experience. All it took was a brilliant business plan and tenacity. Here is the remarkable success story of Under Armour, which details how the company started in a basement, overcame early financial challenges, and grew into a billion dollar business. Kevin A. Plank was born on August 13, 1972 in Kensington, Maryland. He played for the Maplewood Maple Leafs and has been a devoted football enthusiast since he was a little boy. He went to the University of Maryland, Fork Union Military Academy, Georgetown Preparatory School and St. John's College High School. Due to his subpar academic performance, he was forced to leave his preparatory school and later enrolled in a different institution in 1990. Later, he spent almost a year playing football at the Ford Union Military Academy. Plank wished to enroll in NCAA Division I institutions, but regrettably, the football programs at the best institutions did not pick him. Later, Plank participated in athletics while attending the University of Maryland. He earned a business administration degree from college in 1996. Plank was entrepreneurial by nature. Even before starting Under Armour, he launched a number of small businesses and later used the profits to finance his big sportswear venture. One of them, Cupid's Valentine, a rose selling enterprise, brought in around $3,000 on Valentine's Day. Unexpectedly, a need for Plank led to the conception of Under Armour. He was the sweatiest player on the soccer field and was searching for an alternative that would keep him dry and comfortable as he played, something his perspiration soaked cotton shirts couldn't. He therefore started looking for a suitable material that would allow sweat to escape the body and help the player feel lighter and faster. Plank discovered that compression shorts stayed dry during practice, so he decided to create clothes that help keep moisture away using the same material. After receiving his degree, he started looking at lightweight, breathable synthetic materials that wouldn't trap sweat. In order to find the correct material, he field tested his products with former teammates while working out of his grandmother's basement. Plank created the initial prototype in 1996, the same year he established Under Armour. He tested at least seven prototypes before he found a perfect match, which he named the Shorty. The Shorty was a base layer that was soft, snug, and made to wick sweat away from the athlete's body to keep them dry. He invited his old teammates to test his method after explaining to them how his t-shirt would substantially aid and boost their performance on the soccer field. Additionally, he sent the t-shirts by mail to his friends, asking them to distribute them to the other players in the locker room. As a result, Plank's t-shirts began to gain little popularity. The goal Kevin Plank had was crystal clear and full of promise. The aspiring businessman would use his savings from selling t-shirts at concerts to finance his new venture. He would even go as far as to use credit card debt to secure the adequate financial backing required to maintain his business operations. He soon came over a rough patch as he continued on with his business venture. The young businessman's hard efforts to succeed in the commercial world would be in vain, and by year's end, Kevin Plank was bankrupt. However, Plank's unwavering commitment to carrying out a potentially game-changing business would start to pay off, and his first $17,000 sale to Georgia Tech served as a boost to his self-assurance. The second year of Under Armour's operation would prove to be sustainably more prosperous, with a sizable $100,000 product sale to 12 illustrious NFL clubs paving the way for further expansion. In 1999, he spent nearly all of Under Armour's funds on a $25,000 advertisement in the ESPN magazine. The advertisement brought him $1 million in sales, and other athletes began to purchase his products. When Jamie Foxx and other stars on the popular football drama, Any Given Sunday, wore Under Armour clothing, the company gained widespread recognition. As a result of agreements with NFL teams and being the NHL's official apparel supplier, Plank's firm started to garner consistent interest from the professional ranks. In the years to come, Under Armour would elegantly develop into a multi-million dollar organization as the number of wealthy sports teams, stores, and even renowned athletes like Tom Brady and Randall Cobb would start to affiliate themselves with the quickly expanding business venture. Plank's brilliant idea and unwavering success would completely revolutionize the sportswear industry, drawing the attention of Nike, 
Gildan Activewear, and even Columbia Sportswear to the steady expansion of the Under Armour brand. By 2002, the incredibly successful corporate operation was sold in more than 2,500 retail stores and Under Armour was on the verge of overtaking every other sports gear manufacturer in the world. Under Armour became public in 2005 and started expanding into various types of sportswear as sales were increasing. National marketing campaigns helped in drawing more customers to the startup business and its unique take on conventional fitness gear. With a robust workforce of over 6,000 employees churning the wheels of the thriving business enterprise like an efficient machine, Kevin Plank's innovative thinking and exceptional decision-making skills as an entrepreneur performed wonders for his business empire and personal net worth. With the help of lines like their sportswear, casual apparel and footwear, Under Armour has successfully modernized their product portfolio to reflect the times. However, the breakthrough microfiber-derived t-shirt that keeps athletes cool in a hot atmosphere continues to be the company's signature product. While the development of their wide range of products is thought to be a direct outcome of the t-shirt's enormous popularity, Kevin Plank has effectively revolutionized the sports equipment industry. Today, Under Armour is a well-known brand in the competitive industry and is undoubtedly one of the most innovative and radical businesses with a huge market value and annual turnover. The company is now giving the likes of renowned sports clothing brands like Nike and Adidas a run for their money. The brand's reputation and finances are better than ever, and in the future, one may anticipate that their steady expansion rate will increase even more. In recent years, the market value of Under Armour has been pegged at a staggering $4.15 billion and Planck's net worth is about $1.5 billion. Under Armour's success story is truly a motivational story of tenacity and dedication from struggling financially in the beginning to growing into a billion dollar company. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to check out the other success stories videos we have and subscribe to our channel. Bye.